Hi, Wolfie here again. Today I wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, over the past few months I've, uh, I've been sort of showcasing and showing off a few bits and pieces that I've come across through a company Bearpaw Products. Um, more specifically my bows um, that they sent me. But uh, what I have been um, using for some time now is their fletching jig. And added to that now recently, um, they've just released a new super glue, uh, which I was using sort of this week. It, it only arrived sort of last week. Um, what I'd like to do is show you both these products, and that uh, you know they do exactly what they're supposed to. The, the glue is quick, as they claim it is. The jig is accurate, as they claim it is. And uh, it's not to compare it to anything else on the market, but to show you that you know these products are. Um, exactly what you need to do the job that you need them to do. Um, so what I have on the bench, as you down on it, is a fetching jig and the glue. Simply enough the jig is a, a metal frame construction with their little logo added in there. Look at that. Um, these parts are plastic cased. Uh, this is um, the area where the magnet is to hold your um, the actual fletching clamp. On the end there is a receiver for the arrow. And you have two of those. There's an alternative one which is actually on the jig there. Um, and literally, if you unscrew the top there, I can show you this, um, you replace it with that. I'll zoom out a little bit more, get some more clarity on it. So basically, I mean, it has um, any of the widths you need f for the arrows you're going to have, and it has um, the magnet to clamp it in place. Additionally, what a, a number of other companies have is the ability to um, fletch, so several different um, fletching arrangements. Uh, this has built in with no disassembly, no messing about. Uh, the adjustment for three fletch, four fletch, and six fletch. Now, some people stick with the traditional, and all they use is a three. Um, people, for example, with horse bows, etc., that uh, a blind knocking may want four fletches, so they've got no interference from a specific cock fletch. And six, if you're using flu flues and the like, um, you've got um, sort of a large fletching arrangement. It is so simple to adjust, literally. Click, click. So on six, you have six to ten all the way around. There's your six. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three. Now it is precise. There is, if any movement at all, I would say none. Not that's going to make any difference. You're not going to get um, an ultra, ultra um, locked fit, but it centers where it needs to. Um, that is all you need. Precise and accurate. Right, go back to the bench. A minute. There's your jig. And there's your clamp. Magnet on the back. On here, there's a locator. And when this goes on, it purely and simply locates down against that. So what you've got then is your, when your arrow's in, that presses down on the arrow and that locates back. Simple. So, simply speaking, these are indexed um, mark knocks. So this goes in this, there's an index on the one of them there. A little, let me see it, there, a little mark point. When that is up, it's ready for your cock fletching. So you put it into place with the index up and it centers in there. Nice and simple. Really simple. This, when it clamps in, press down and line up with the arrow. If you have to do any adjustment and you're not happy with centering, you have screws here and there. These ones will adjust the out, that can adjust the angle. This is a straight clamp and it is straight and in line with the jig. So 
so I'm getting really close to the camera here. So absolutely no bother with that at all. Everything's in line. Now the entertaining part is sticking on the fletchings. With this new glue that they've released, the Cyber Bond, this is a 10 gram. It takes no time at all. Um, I've had other super glues that you put on and you come back 10 minutes later and it's still not tacked off. A matter of seconds this is done. So I'll show you this. Three, three feathers. You can use this for the cock fletching. Normal alignment for a, um, a feather, what I found is I put this on my uh, existing arrows and this lines up with the bottom of the existing fletching. So all I do is put that in the clamp, press it in with it lined up at the bottom. Job done. If you want to use it with the fletching glue will come um, a small tip adapter. That's for fine application and it works. I'm quite happy, reasonably confident to put a layer of glue on as it is. So just slight, so again, a little bit of glue all the way down on there. Here's my jig. I do this in the air, it's so easy. The back of there lines up with the back of there. Pure and simple. Push it down, down onto the arrow. It's in place. Now I don't need to leave that for very long at all. I'll probably leave it for safety's sake a little bit longer than I might. Because there's quite a bit of glue on there. We'll just wait a few moments. And it's done. That's on there. Instant. Nice and straight. So back to the jig again, don't normally take it out of the jig, but I just wanted to show you how quick that worked. Right, put it back in where it was, and I just rotate it. Simple. Another feather, in the clamp, for me lined up with the bottom, to there. Reapply some glue. All the way down. Oh, don't want the bottom there. Press down, lined up with the bottom, pressed in, nicely tight against the arrow. That's it, leave it. So, nice and fast. Easily adjustable. In addition, there are fittings on the bottom of here. If you want more than one jig, I should dig out the handbook and show you. And here shows that they can be mounted in a rack. Literally, it's just a base plate unit, and they clip together, and you have a rack. So, if you want a system rather than just one jig. I need to fletch sort of multiple arrows on a regular basis if you're a business, it's all there. So to finish this off, back to the bench. Second fletch is done. Rotate it to the third position. Repeat the process. Line up with the bottom. Top on it. Need a bit of glue. Oh, 
on there. Leave it. What I want to point out, and perhaps need to point out, because I've been asked this, is that's because I seem to have a favour with the Bearpaw products. Um, that's because I found that I like them. I don't work for Bearpaw, I've not been asked to do any of the videos. Uh, I speak to Henry quite a bit because he's an accessible guy. Uh, he likes ideas and he'll take um, comments and criticisms with no bother at all. If there's something wrong with this product, albeit I haven't found anything specific other than a friend of mine had uh, a problem with, um, I think it was his deer, deer horn or deer antler, like um, deluxe arm guard, where his uh, antler part had broken up and came off. Now, this was an older one, and I understood in the interim that they'd renewed them. Um, they'd made them uh, thicker on the antler section, and they put a bigger spacer in to allow for the um, elastic to stop pressure. They sorted it out. You can't ask for more than that. So anyway, quickly back to this. That arrow is done. Finished. If that's not quick, I could do it quicker, but just play it safe for the video. Anyway, I hope that uh, at least shows you the Bearpaw fletching system jig. It's straight clamp. You can get, in addition, helical clamps. This being right hand, I have a left hand. But again, all nice and straight, precise, and as everything else I found from Bearpaw, it does exactly what it's supposed to. So I hope that's a bit of insight. This glue, um, for what I understand, is available in a 10 gram, a 10 gram, a 20 gram, and I, I may be wrong, but I thought there was a mention of a 50 gram. But I don't think you need a 50 gram; it'd be going forever. But a 10 gram and a 20 gram is available on the internet through most of the Bearpaw stockists. There we are, that's the Fletching Jig. Hope this uh, is of interest. Thanks for watching.